Good morning, little masters, and welcome back to today's Tolkien Times. I'm the man of the West, also from the Prancing Pony podcast. Let's get started with Week 55's Word Nerd Wednesday. It's been a fun series as we've ranged all over, looking at the names of elves and Valar, like Irenion Gilgalad, Fingon, Manwë Sulemo, Gildor and Glorian and Varda, along with the regions of the island of Numenor, and last week, Ostler and White. Well, today, we're going to look at the many names of one of everybody's favorite characters in the story. Tomorrow, on Third Age Thursday, I'm going to read The Riddle of Strider. And so today, let's look at the many names of the real Man of the West. To start, let's go to The Houses of Healing, Book 5, Chapter 8 of The Lord of the Rings. After Pippin had addressed him as Strider, we read, But Imrahil said to Eomer, Is it thus that we speak to our kings? Yet maybe he will wear his crown in some other name. And Aragorn, hearing him, turned and said, Verily, for in the high tongue of old I am Elessar, the Elfstone, and Envinyatar, the Renewer. And he lifted from his breast the green stone that lay there. But Strider shall be the name of my house, if that be ever established. In the high tongue it will not sound so ill, and Telkantar I will be, and all the heirs of my body. So, what names do we have for him just in this paragraph? Strider, Aragorn, Elessar, and Vinyatar, and Telkantar. Let's take a look at each of these names. Strider, not a lot of word nerdery to do on this one. It's a nickname in Westron, clearly connected to the length of his strides, as we see in the passage where the name is first given to us by one Barlaman Butterbur. He says, What his right name is, I've never heard, but he's known round here as Strider. Goes about at a great pace on his long shanks. Actually, there's another one of his nicknames, Long Shanks. And of course he has long legs because he's Numenorean, and the men of Numenor were significantly taller than the Bree men, who we learned not long ago are actually kin to the Dunlendings. Now, at the Council of Elrond, at first it seems like Aragorn doesn't like the name. He says, Travelers scowl at us, and countrymen give us scornful names. Strider I am to one fat man who lives within a day's march of foes that would freeze his heart or lay his little town in ruin if he were not guarded ceaselessly. Yet we would not have it otherwise. If simple folk are free from care and fear, simple they will be, and we must be secret to keep them so. And yet, despite that seeming uh, dislike of the name, he chooses to name his royal house the House of Telkantar, which is a translation into Quenya of the name Strider. Now, Aragorn is a Sindarin name, and it includes the element Ar or Ara, which means noble, royal, high. And we see that a lot. Arganath, the pillars of the kings. Arnor, the royal land. Arwen, noble maiden. And even Aragorn's father's name, Arathorn, steadfast king. But it's the second element that gets a bit trickier. Gorn means revered, per Parma El de Lambaron number 17, but it also means valor in peoples of Middle-earth. So it could mean kingly valor, but the discussion for revered king is far more complete, so that's where I'm landing, but you could go either way. Aragorn himself gives us the translation of the name Elessar. It is Quenya, not Sindarin, and has been translated Elf Stone. Now, literally, it means star stone, as the element Elen means star. But the close association of Elen, star, and Elda, elf, means Elfstone works. It's similar to what we see in Elendil, whose name literally means star lover, but is actually translated as elf friend. Now, Envinyatar is Quenya, and it means renewer. The verb Envinyata means renew. That is itself a combination of En, which means again, the way the re-prefix does in English. Vinya, meaning new, we've just seen that in Vinyalonde, new haven, and the ta suffix, it's just causative suffix. So it literally means to make new again, and Vinyatar. And that covers all the names in this paragraph. But Aragorn also went by a few others, and we learn about one of my favorite names of his in reading about Ecthelion II, the steward of Gondor and father to Denethor. There we read that, In much that he did, he had the aid and advice of a great captain whom he loved above all. Thorongil, men called him in Gondor, the Eagle of the Star for he was swift and keen-eyed, and wore a silver star upon his cloak. But no one knew his true name, nor in what land he was born. He came to Ecthelion from Rohan, where he had served the king Thingel, but he was not one of the Rohirrim. He was a great leader of men, by land or by sea, but he departed into the shadows whence he came, before the days of Ecthelion were ended. 
Now, once again, Tolkien gives us the translation right there in the text, the eagle of the star. Thoron means eagle, as in Thorondor, king of eagles, as well as the Kirith Thoronath, the eagle's cleft. The element gil we've looked at a lot lately. It means bright spark, star, silver glint. Now, moving on to another name, in the epilogue to the Lord of the Rings, which is found in Sauron Defeated, Elessar sent the king's letter to the Shire, to Sam and his family in particular. In the Sindarin text, we see the name Edilharn, which is Sindarin for Elfstone. It is the Sindarin equivalent of Quenya Elessar. It contains the element Evel, meaning elf, as in Austin Evel, the fortress of the Eldar, or Evelond, elf haven. It also contains the Lenited Sarn, showing up as Harn, meaning stone. Now, of course, one of everyone's favorite names for Aragorn is Estel. That's Quenya and Sindarin for hope. But it more specifically means hope, trust, a temper of mind, steady fixed in purpose, and difficult to dissuade and unlikely to fall into despair or abandon its purpose. Now, that quote, by the way, is found in War of the Jewels in History of Middle-earth. Eomer gives him a unique name, by the way. Strider is too poor a name, son of Arathorn. Wingfoot, I name you. This deed of the three friends should be sung in many a hall. Forty leagues and five you have measured ere the fourth day is ended. Hardy is the race of Elendil. Now, as Wingfoot is a pretty obvious meaning, I won't belabor the point, but I had to read the passage. Finally, and appropriately, he's given the name The Dunedain, Man of the West, by Bilbo Baggins, who explains the name to Frodo. I thought you knew enough Elvish, at least, to know Dunedain, Man of the West, Numenorian. But this is not the time for lessons. And indeed, we are out of time for lessons. So folks, that wraps it up for today's Word Nerd Wednesday. Come back next week as we wander the wide, wild, wonderful world of words weekly on Wednesdays. And if there's a word you want to know more about, please let me know by emailing barnaman at theprancingponypodcast.com. Please visit patreon.com slash Tolkien Times to learn how you can support the show, get an ad-free feed, a monthly hangout with me, a bonus weekly episode, and a lot more. And then join me again tomorrow on today's Tolkien Times for Third Age Thursday. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Follow or subscribe in your podcast apps and follow at Tolkien Times on all your social media. Finally, as Faramir says, go with the goodwill of all good men. <laughs>